the 1996 draft class. In the coming attractions opinion, this is the greatest draft class in the history of the NBA. You have generational talents like Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson, Ray Allen, Steve Nash. From top to bottom though, this class was extremely solid, but the mid nineties was a completely different era of basketball. Makes you wonder if those players would be successful in today's day and age. Well, today we're gonna find the fuck out. We're taking the 96 NBA draft class and redrafting them in 2022. This NBA draft is the greatest of all time. Allen Iverson, Kobe Bryant, Stephon Marbury, Steve Nash. We're going to be redrafting every single one of these players. Year is 2021. We have a rookie Allen Iverson, rookie Kobe, Ray Allen, Steve Nash, Marcus Camby. In this Fantasy Worlds NBA draft lottery, the Warriors have the number one pick, the Kings have the two pick, and the Pistons have the three pick. All of these organizations have the chance at drafting potential NBA a legend. Let's take a look at some of the strengths and weaknesses of all these prospects. Allen Iverson, excellent ball handler and can pickpocket with the best of them. I think Michael Jordan would agree with that one. Let's see what they say about crazy Stephon Marbury. In his weaknesses, it says he can barely dunk and he's not a good finisher. Sounds like a white guy. Speaking of white guys, here's Steve Nash. Elite vision can make the difficult pass, but doesn't force it. If you look at Steve Nash's highlight reel, it's one of the best ever. Even guys like Marcus Camby and Peja Stojakovic were in this class. Oh my God, Anton Walker. Now he's on Fox Sports 1 looking like EDP 445. My left leg has went totally numb. In real life, the number one pick in this class was Allen Iverson to the Philadelphia 76ers. But if in this fantasy world, the Warriors have the one pick, obviously they don't really need a point guard. It's going to be very interesting to see who all these teams pick. Let's go ahead and get to the NBA draft. The Golden State Warriors are now on the clock. And with the number one pick in this NBA draft, the Warriors select Kobe Bryant out of Lower Marion High School. Rookie Kobe Bryant comes into the league as an 81 overall. His ceiling is Hall of Fame and his floor is Vince Carter. He's got an A inside scoring, B plus mid range, B three pointer. Putting him in this Warriors dynasty is going to be insane. The Sacramento Kings are now on the clock and they are going to select Allen Iverson out of Georgetown. Allen Iverson also comes into the league as an 81 overall. He's really not going to have that much to work with in Sacramento though. Now the Detroit Pistons are on the clock and they are going to select Stephon. Marbury out of Georgia Tech. A lot of people don't know this, but Stephon Marbury was an absolute monster in college. He comes in as a 79 overall. I really think he's going to be able to help that franchise. Coming up next, we got the Oklahoma City Thunder, and they select 6'11 Marcus Camby. He was a shot blocking machine. Hopefully, he's going to be able to help that team. We have next now, I think we have the Houston Rockets drafting, and it looks like they are going to take Steve Nash out of Santa Clara. Steve Nash was originally drafted by the Phoenix Suns, but now he's a 77 overall rookie going to Houston. Athleticism's a D minus. He can't help that he's white. We're probably just going to see where the top 10 picks go, and then we'll see where the rest of the class follows from there. The Orlando Magic are going to select Sharif Abdur Rahim out of Cal. I don't really know too much about him, but I'm assuming he was probably pretty good back then. Coming up next, the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to select Ray Allen out of UConn. That's an interesting pick. Ray Allen comes in at a 78 overall, but I think he's definitely going to help that franchise. Coming up next, we got the Toronto Raptors, and they're going to select Igor Kursov. Pretty sure that's a made-up player. And we got the Orlando Magic on the clock, and they're going to select Kerry Kittles. Once again, another created player. But now rounding at the top 10, we got the New Orleans Pelicans and they're going to select another created player. Okay, we see how this is going to go. We're going to sim to the end of the draft and then we will catch up on everything from there. Okay, we're at the end of the draft. Taking a look at the highlights. We've got Kobe going to the Warriors. Allen Iverson going to the Sacramento Kings. Stephon Marbury going to the Detroit Pistons. Steve Nash is going to be going to the Rockets. Another legend like Pejas Toyakovic is going to the Wizards. And then the rest of the players are pretty much created. Actually, Jermaine O'Neal goes in the second round to the Brooklyn Nets. He's a 73 overall. But now we're in the first season. And I won't lie, rosters look a little different. Detroit Pistons have Lonzo Ball. But Lonzo Ball and Stephon Marbury could be a great duo. But I'm really excited to see how all these rookies perform. The Warriors come in third in the power rankings. Obviously, they have their normal core, but I think adding a young Kobe is going to put them over the top. I think that Ray Allen eventually will make the Cavs a legit contender. They may not be good this year, but the Rockets definitely have their point guard of the future. Let's simulate the first season and see how it goes. So really quickly, guys, we're at All-Star Weekend. None of our 1996 rookies are in the All-Star Game. The Clippers, Heat, Celtics, Hawks, and Nets are atop the NBA so far. But in terms of our rookies, some of them are killing it. For example, Stephon Marbury the Detroit Pistons is currently averaging 22 points per game, 2 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 steals. Allen Iverson's doing his thing as well. They're averaging 17 points, 6 assists, and 2.5 and steals. And Steve Nash is already an assist machine as he's averaging 14 points and almost 9 assists a game. Kobe's playing solid so far. Midway through his first season, he's averaging 16 points, two and a half rebounds, and four assists. He could definitely be the reason this squad wins the championship. But now let's get to the end of the season so we can see the real awards. 
Okay, so this is fucking crazy. Ben Simmons of the Brooklyn Nets wins MVP. He averaged almost 20 points, 11 and a half rebounds, 9.7 assists, 2.6 steals, 1.3 blocks. This blows my mind. And this blows my mind even more. In the rookie of the year race, Sharif Abdur Rahim actually wins it. He averaged 18 points per game, 8 rebounds, and 3 and a half assists. Out of all the rookies we drafted, he's definitely not the one I expected to win it. But anyways, all rookie first team consists of Sharif Abdur Rahim, Stefan Marbury, Allen Iverson, Igor Kursov, and Steve Nash. All rookie second team has Marcus Camby, Ray Allen, Deion Smith, Luis Green, and Kobe Bean Bryant. How did Marcus Camby do? There was 14 points, eight and a half rebounds. How many blocks per game? 1.7. Allen did his thing for the Cavaliers. Average 16 points a game, shooting 39% from three. Brooklyn Nets finished atop the power rankings thanks to Ben Simmons being a fucking baller. But even though the Cavaliers had Ray Allen, they finished fucking dead last in the NBA. Steve Nash didn't help the Rockets out too much. They finished second to last at 17 and 65. What do you know? The Saki team still suck. Stephon Marbury actually led them all in scoring at 22.8 points a game. That's extremely impressive for a first year player. Raheem and Iverson were right behind him at 18 a game. Kobe Bryant only averaged 17, but he's up to an 83 overall. Steve Nash, of course, led them all in assists per game. But now we're into the NBA playoffs. Let's see who wins the title here. Well, I wasn't expecting that. The Atlanta Hawks win the title. Ray Young wins finals MVP averaging 36 points and 10 assists in it. But now it's time to get into year number two. And some of our players took a major jump. Ray Allen is now up to an 83 overall. Allen Iverson's up to an 86 overall with 40 total badges. Fawn Marbury is up to an 84 overall himself. Steve Nash is up to an 83 overall. And this is the one that I'm most excited for. Kobe Bryant is actually up to an 86. I'll definitely be interested to see how this season plays out. We're at All-Star Weekend now of year two. And Stephon Marbury is our first drafted player to make it. So far, he's averaging a staggering 24 points per game, three and a half rebounds, seven assists, and 2.2 steals. Very interesting. They're Orlando Magic are actually fourth in the ranking. Brief Abdul Rahim's left in that franchise. He's averaging 20 points per game, eight rebounds, and four assists. This season might be very interesting in who wins the title. Steve Nash is actually in the three point contest. Let's see if he's going to be banging these bitches in from deep. Mountain Dew shots up if he makes me suck my own cock. Okay, thank goodness. He finishes with only 19 now. Oh my gosh, Kobe Bryant's in the dunk contest. Please show me something cool. Gonna go from the left wing to start off. Let's see what he's got here. Okay, uh, not very cool to me. Only gets a 25 on his first one. Maybe his second one will be better. Let's see here. Okay, that actually was better. I'm actually cool with watching a replay of this one. Don't know how great of a score it'll get, but it looked cool. He gets a 40 that time. He still comes in third in the dunk contest, though. Let's just get to the end of the season. While we are simulating to the end of the season, though, as always, I would like to say thank you so much for the support on the channel. If you're still watching this video, we are so close to 20,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button to enter yourself into a $50 giveaway. Let's also see if we can get this video to 150 likes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this year, Trey Young wins league MVP, averaging 30 points per game and 12 assists. Most improved player goes to a member of our draft class, Stefan Marbury. He averaged 25 points, three and a half rebounds, and 6.7 assists. He might actually end up being the best one. That already brings Marbury's career averages up to 24 points a game, three rebounds, 6.6 assists, and two steals. None of our draft class has made any of the All-NBA teams yet, though. But hopefully that changes. Our highest rated members of that draft class are Allen Iverson and Kobe Bryant right now, both at an 88 overall. Allen Iverson this year averaged 21 points per game and six assists, while Kobe only averaged 19 points a game and four assists. Steve Nash is up to an 85 overall, and he's averaging 20 points per game and 9.7 assists. He actually led them to the play-in game, but they lost. A quietly good player in this draft class has actually been Marcus Camby. He's up to an 84 overall, and he's averaging 15 points per game and 10 rebounds. But unfortunately, the Thunder still suck. They're 22 and 60. And speaking of sucking, holy shit. Lakers are dead last in the West at 20 and 62. Retire, old man. Let's go ahead and simulate the playoffs, though. And no surprise here, the Pelicans Pelicans win this season. Tell yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the next season now. And holy moly, shit's getting crazy. Allen Iverson's up to a 92 fucking overall. Kobe Bryant's up to a 91 overall. Stephon Marbury's up to a 90 overall. Steve Nash is up to an 88. We're really starting to see who's gonna separate themselves. In this season's power rankings, the Nets are actually picked to finish first. KD and Kyrie are off the team. And now it's just Ben Simmons. Steph Curry's no longer on the Warriors. So it's Kobe Bryant's team. Apparently Steph's not on any team. He's listed as a free agent. I don't know. Let's go ahead and simulate and see what happens. We're starting to see some of our rookies make all-star teams more. Stephon Marbury's back on the list along with Ray Allen. Then Raheem, Kobe Bryant, and Steve Nash all make their first appearances. Jeez Louise, man. Ben Simmons wins another fucking MVP. And Bull Bull wins most improved player, averaging 17 points and 8 rebounds. What world are we living in? Now we're starting to see a lot of separation between our drafted players. Steve Nash makes all NBA first team. And this season, he averaged 27 points a game, 3 rebounds, and 10 assists, shooting 50% from the field. He's the first one of our drafted players to actually make this. Sharif Abdul-Rahim 
makes All-NBA second team. He went ahead and averaged 25 points a game, 10 rebounds, and four and a half assists. And then All-NBA third team actually has 92 overall, Kobe Bean Bryant. He averaged 28 points a game, four rebounds, and six assists. And he shot 57% from the field. AJ Stoyakovic also made All-NBA third team. Holy fuck, dude. He averaged 27 points a game on 44% from the three-point line. The Washington Wizards are still terrible. They're 32 and fucking 50. But Peja finished top five in scoring at that 27 a game. And Kobe Bryant came in third in the league at scoring at 28.4. Apparently, Steve Nash is a scoring machine. He came in number six at 27. And then, of course, our man Steve Nash is leading the league in assists at 10.7. Holy fuck, the Orlando Magic have the one seed. Markel Fultz is up to an 87 overall. He's averaging 18 points a game and eight assists. But Raheem has just completely changed this franchise. How's good old Ray Allen doing? He's actually up to an 89 overall, averaging 24 points a game, four rebounds, and five assists. Hey, the Sacramento Kings made the playoffs. Allen Iverson's doing something good. He's up to a 92 overall, averaging 23 points a game, seven assists, and two and a half steals. This duo is working out. Let's simulate these playoffs now and see how it all goes. <laughs> Fuck me, silly sideways. The Brooklyn Nets won the title. And Ben Simmons won finals MVP, averaging 29 and a half points a game, 11 rebounds, and eight assists. Let's go ahead and get into the fourth season of this sim. You can definitely expect some extremely crazy stats from our players now. <laughs> Allen Iverson and Stephen Marbury are two of the top rated players in the league at a 95 overall. And Kobe Bryant's no slouch either at a 94. Steve Nash getting up there to a 90 fucking three. I'm calling it now. Steve Nash is winning MVP this year. A few moments later. Okay, I was wrong. Honestly, this is even better. Kobe Bryant wins MVP. He averaged 31 points a game, five rebounds, and six assists. Bean finally making the breakthrough. And all NBA first team is filled with some of our players. We got Kobe Bryant, Steve Nash, Ben Simmons, Giannis, and then that Igor Kursov guy. The second team has Allen Iverson. Iverson on it, who's up to a 96. He averaged 29.9 points a game, seven and a half assists. And then Stephon Marbury's on the third team. His points per game actually dropped off a lot this year. He's only averaging 23 and a half, four rebounds and eight and a half assists. Allen Iverson made all defensive first team. Pretty sure one of his weaknesses in the draft was about defense. But anyways, now the Houston Rockets have the number one seed. Steve Nash averaged 25 points a game and 11 assists, which obviously was good enough to lead the NBA in total assists. Kobe Bryant was second in the NBA in scoring at 31.8 with Allen Iverson right behind him at 29. Players are finally starting to play well. Let's see who wins the title this year. We got the Timberwolves versus the Heat in the finals. Anthony Edwards absolutely dominating in these playoffs, averaging 34 and a half points a game. And the Heat have a weird roster. I completely forgot Derek Fisher was in this draft class. He's on the squad averaging 12 and a half points a game with 7.8 assists. And they actually do win the NBA title. Bam Adebayo got finals MVP. Man, at the end of this season, stuff is becoming very interesting. Let's go ahead and get into the next season. I'm still waiting for one of our players to hopefully win a title. Actually, I guess Derek Fisher was the first one, but he doesn't really count. Okay, so aside from Giannis, Stephon Marbury, Kobe Bryant, and Allen Iverson are the highest rated players in the league at a 96 overall. Steve Nash slowly but steadily rising at a 94. I still think he's going to win an MVP someday. Ray Allen's been awfully quiet in the simulation, but he's still up to a 93. In this year's league power rankings, the Oklahoma City Thunder coming first. Coming off the best season of his career, averaging 16 points a game, 12 rebounds, and 2.1 blocks. But the rest of the team is made entirely of created players. The NBA is getting weird, man. I hope Kobe can win a title this year with the Warriors. Blue will win a find out though so let's go ahead and simulate to the end of the year please god do not let ben simmons win another mvp so this is pretty awesome in this season kobe bryant is actually an all-star captain and this game is now littered with 1996 draftees this is getting really fun and oh my goodness ladies and gentlemen this season Allen iverson wins mvp and he fucking dominated he averaged 33 points four rebounds seven assists 2.9 steals this was actually good enough to also win him defensive player of the year he's finally having his breakout all nba first team was entirely our 96 draft class Allen iverson marbury abdul rahim pages Stoyakovich, lewis nance who was a created player in it the second team had kobe bryant on it and the third team had steve nash Allen iverson led the league in scoring at 33 a game with kobe bryant right behind him at 31 Raheem at 30, Ray Allen at 28, Stoyakovich at 26, Marbury at 26. I mean, this whole fucking list is our 96 draft class. Holy fuck, that Lewis Nance dude averaged 24 points and 17 rebounds this year. Look at Zadrunas Ilgauskas stepping up his game from Cleveland days, averaging 16 points and 13 and a half rebounds. Let's see who wins the title this season. Okay, so we actually have the Cleveland Cavaliers taking on the Golden State Warriors. We have 97 overall Kobe Bryant, who's averaging 33 points, five rebounds, and six assists. Taking on 94 overall Ray Allen, who's averaging 31 points, five rebounds, and six assists in the playoffs. This will definitely be an interesting one. I want to simulate this one game by game. So let's see how it goes. The first game's going to go to Golden State. Second game's going to go to Cleveland. Third game's going to go to Cleveland. Fourth game's going to go to Golden State. 
in the fifth game here to go to Golden State. We are definitely going to go in here and watch this one. We can't pass up seeing Kobe hopefully win a title, but there's only one way to find out if that's going to happen, so let's get this one started. Cleveland Cavaliers on the first possession going on the pick and roll. Shoots a mid-range jump shot up and good. Cleveland takes a 2-0 lead. Yes, Kobe has the ball. Bring it up, King. Kobe drop. Oh my goodness, turnover. Cleveland has a wide open three-point shot and they make it. Not the greatest start. I need to simulate a little bit. Okay, so we jump forward three minutes to go in the fourth quarter and Golden State's up five. Cleveland gonna try and climb back into this as Ray Allen is driving in, finds a wide open guy in the corner and he hits the shot. Nico Manian shoots a three right there. Oh my God. Cleveland driving in, finds a wide open in Wamba for a layup, but he misses. Nico Manian's driving in, gonna take a terrible mid-range jump shot, but he makes it. Oh my God. Cleveland takes a timeout. There's now only 13 seconds to go and Golden State's up four. Kobe Bryant is going to the free throw line to try and ice this game and he makes the first one. Second free throw is going to be up and good. Oh no, he misses. It is now Cleveland ball down five with only 12 seconds to go. Ray Allen shoots a shot in the corner. He misses though. And oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, I think Golden State may have just done it. It appears as though they have as the time is running out and Golden State and Kobe Bryant win their first NBA title in this simulation. They did it, man. They freaking did it. It doesn't matter in what era, what team. Kobe Bryant's a winner. Kobe's able to lift his first NBA title. Please tell me he's going to win finals MVP. And yes, thank God he does. In this series, as a whole, Kobe averaged 29 points, 5 rebounds, and 7 assists, and he's up to a 97. This next season's gonna be crazy. Marbury's up to a 97. Kobe's up to a 97. Allen Iverson's up to a 95. Steve Nash is a 94. And pretty much all those guys are free agents. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to bring this video to a close, though, guys. If you guys wanna see episode 2 of this, it will be coming out right when we hit 150 likes on this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, most importantly, turn on post notifications. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and on the coming attraction.